Are you looking to increase your ad strength in Google Ads? Well, today I'm going to give you a couple easy tips that'll help you do that. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Mike Mancini. I'm a Google Ads agency owner for the last 10 years. So a lot of people look in their Google Ads accounts and they look in the ads and they see this column called ad strength and they see that their ads are limited or poor or average. I'm going to show you how to take care of that. Let's hop into an account. So here we are in a relatively new account and you can see we don't have a ton of clicks yet, but we see we've got average or good or even a poor ad right here. Well, those are actually pretty easy to fix. So what you want to do is you want to go into the ad and go into edit. Now, tip number one, make sure you are using all of the headlines that Google gives you. Google will give you 15 different headlines that you can use in your account. Also, they will give you four descriptions. Google will switch these headlines and descriptions, so you want to make sure you have all of the real estate covered. A lot of people will only put a few headlines in and they come in here and they will add a few more and that will move the ad strength from poor up to average or whatever it might be. Tip number two, use the information that Google gives you. As you can see up here, we've got the check marks, but we've got include more popular keywords in your headlines. Let's view some of those ideas. So what it's telling us here is we've used all the headlines, so we can't add any more. So maybe you're trying to figure out, well, which one should I get rid of? If you're unsure what to get rid of, simply close this out, go back to that ad that was poor, go to view asset details. And what you can do is you can sort them by impressions and take the bottom ones out. Take the headlines out that don't have any impressions or have very few impressions. So we can go back up to the ads. Let's go and edit that ad again. And let's take out the ones that really don't have any impressions. That one. Then what we can do is go in and we can take a look at what their popular headline ideas are. And we'll add a couple of those. Also, Google will give you an idea for optimal ad performance. Include these keywords in your headline. So right there, it did not change our ad strength, but what we're going to do is we're going to go down and we're going to click save ad. And then we should go down here. It will go into a pending state. So we're going to let that work and see what happens there. However, some of these other ones, let's say average, we can go in and do the same thing. So now this one's average, include more popular keywords in your headlines, but let's take a look. Oh, we are missing three headlines. When we uploaded this, we must not have uploaded all of them. Let's view some of the ideas. Let's add that one. Let's go that one and that one. And we're just going to go down and we're going to save it. So now you see another one. It's in a pending state. Now, just doing that alone may bump that up to good or excellent. Another thing I want to show you is if you go into an ad, make sure if you pin these. So sometimes let's say I wanted to pin this one as it will always come up in the first position or I wanted to pin a description. In the past, we've seen that can actually cause Google to sometimes put your ad in a poorer state. Not all of the time, but make sure you check this. Now, just as a quick follow up, it's only been a couple of minutes, but this ad was ranked as poor. I changed a couple of those headlines. That's all I did. And now it skipped average and it went right to good. As you can see, the other one here is still pending. So that's how fast these changes can take effect. Now I'm going to leave this one for a couple of days to see how it performs because these will change. Sometimes this can go up to excellent just by the performance of the ad itself. Google wants the discretion to be able to switch around the headlines and the descriptions as they see fit. The minute you pin a headline or description, you're telling Google essentially, we don't want you to make the decision. We want to make the decision. And I know it may seem kind of simple, but sometimes just doing those few things, taking out poor performing headlines and or unpinning headlines and descriptions will sometimes improve your ad strength within Google right away. And once that ad strength increases, Google will show your ads more and chances are you'll have a better performing campaign with more conversions. And if you want more Google Ads tips and tricks down below in the description, you will see a link to my courses called Ads Agency Unlocked. We have a Google Ads course as well as an agency course, and you can check those out below. Did you get some good value out of this? I hope you did. If so, please do me a favor, hit that like button. It really helps us in the eyes of YouTube. Hit that subscribe button for more videos on Google Ads tips and tricks as they come out each week. 
And if you want to see some more related videos over to the right hand side, you will see some of those. As always, thank you very much. I do greatly appreciate the support and we'll see you next time.